Well, hello there guys, Agrippa Maxenius here, coming at you with some Battle Academy. I figured since the movie Dunkirk has just recently come out, I want to go ahead and play Blitzkrieg France. Uh, as you can see, spearheaded by daring parachute raids and close air support, the fast-moving columns of the German Blitzkrieg slice through Allied lines. Outmaneuvered and outfought, Allied resistance begins to crumble. This is the beginning of the downfall, at least for the French, initially, um, in the first part of the war. So, we're going to jump right in, guys. Um, this is Battle Academy, for those of you that are new to it. It is basically focused around trying to sort of rebuild a sort of board game uh, look um, at this particular um, war. So the German offensive begins, the Blitzkrieg, and in days drives deep into Belgium. French tanks move north to counter what they assume to be the main German thrust. Here we go, guys. So we're going to have to see how we do. We are going to be playing as the Germans, of course, um, and I have for selection here, but I think these are pre-selected. Now, in a lot of battles in this game, you skirmish, etc., multiplayer, you can select your own units. Here, we're starting with what we're being given, and that's fine with me. Don't have to worry about deployment, etc. So, smash through the disorganized defenses, seize the key road junctions, and reinforcements will arrive to secure the flanks. We've got to take this French town. Uh, obviously, the goal here is to take three victory points within 15 turns. Not too, not too easy, uh, especially since we don't know what the French have. And it actually allows us to really discuss a lot about the uh, war itself. Um, a lot of things that people don't know, for instance, is actually the French tanks uh, in this time period, they weren't so bad. They were actually pretty much equal to the German tanks. Now, in this scenario, we've got some World War I tanks like Kleinal, uh, F-17, but actually the French had decent tanks, not just World War I tanks. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna see if we can penetrate this thing. Chance to penetrate is 0%. What about this one? Okay, here we actually have a chance to hit. I'm not sure if we're gonna pen it, but we might be able to scare it away. I know that's a strange, uh, term to use when talking about enemy tanks like this. Uh, move forward a bit more. Be on the hunt. And once again, chance to hit 100%. Uh, but the chance to penetrate is 0%, even though we're using armor-piercing weaponry. What we can do, though, is scare the hell out of these tanks and get them to retreat. Uh, and I'm sure we've got one tank that can take this guy out, and I think it's going to be the Panzer III. Just got hit. Ooh, a nice miss by the enemy. There we go. There we go. That's a kill, guys. Our first one, first blood. We'll go ahead and fire a second shot over here. And as you can see, our men are also gaining a little bit of rank here for their work, uh, which is pretty incredible. Uh, we'll move forward a bit more. And once again, chance to pen is very low, but I'm hoping to get this guy to retreat. Uh, we've also got a little a bit of assistance here from our Stuka dive bombers. We won't be using them yet, but it's definitely something we want to use eventually. And I'm going to move the 8 rod forward a bit, and I already see an enemy lorry. I'm going to open fire at it. It's probably a British lorry given to the French to be used for carrying units. I'm surprised we missed. Move forward with one of our other ones. And there's a bunker here. I'm almost certain there's going to be enemies in that bunker, but generally, you only find out when you get there. So, we'll suppress the area for now, try to put it under fire, but it would be madness for them not to have some units defending this area. It's just that simple. Move up with a little bit more, and we've got another beautiful Panzer III here. Uh, early, this early on in the war, the Panzer III is actually really good. Uh, later in the war, Panzer III, eh, nothing to write home about, really, but here it can do a lot of damage. Chance to penetrate 64%. Okay, you fired after moving fast. This can reduce our chance to hit by half or more. So we know that, that basically uh, moving quickly is not always a good idea. You kind of want to stay put uh, for the best chance at a kill. But in this case, obviously, we had to move forward. And there we go. The French definitely don't seem too confident. We'll start moving forward with our troop carriers. Um, some of these troop carriers, like obviously the SD KFZ 251s, they're definitely able to hit the enemy with machine gun fire and do some damage. Um, I'm almost certain they're gonna have some guys here. We'll take a look at sure enough. What did I tell you? So they destroyed our truck. We've got a German infantry unit here. He's just gonna be stuck behind the tanks for now, and we'll move this truck behind. We don't wanna get shot at like we just were. Let's hope that that doesn't happen again. Uh, we don't wanna repeat. We could also drop some troops here, start moving in, but I'd like to get at least one of these troops to drop off into the town. I don't know if you guys feel the same, but I think that's the safest way to go. Let's end the turn. All right, back to the Germans. All right, well, we definitely want to finish that guy off. Uh, Panzer II. I'm wondering if maybe... No, I was going to say, 
It's maybe he could still fire uh, because he was stopped, but I don't think he can. Now we're going to fire with our Panzer III. There we go. That is a dead French tank. You might think moving Panzer III's up is not a good idea because this is our best unit. He's also got a rank, but I think I'm going to do just that. Open fire here at the lorry, and we destroyed another French target. Um, so obviously our goal are these fortifications. We've got to break in there. Um, but we probably want to soften it up before we break in. So I'm going to move this tank forward also to cover more ground. We'll go ahead and suppress the area. The frustrating thing is we know there are enemies there, but there might not be much we can do about them um, without getting infantry close. Fire! All right, I'm going to try to move this SDKFZ up. Oh, oh, we got another enemy tank here. Uh, let's move. They're going to shoot at us. But I'm hoping that we can go ahead. Oh, boy. We can't drop off our boys here. Can we drop them off here? Yes, we can. Unfortunately, the enemy is going to respond with an ambush. Two of our men down. I hope this is not going to stop them from fighting. And actually, they might be able to assault this thing for a 50% chance of taking it. This is a big risk. Before I take it, I'm going to go ahead and try to fire, even though it's only two effectiveness. Um, I think I'll do the same with some other units as well. And just basically try to hurt these guys so much that they can't stand up to us. We can move forward with our infantry, of course. And these guys have an even smaller chance of taking the area. So I'm starting to try to figure out why that is. Killed one of the French inside, and they're suppressed. Fire. So I think the reason is this is a German infantry unit, and this is a German engineer unit. So we've got the use of those beautiful flamethrowers. 70% chance. Let's assault, and we've taken the bunker, guys. Beautiful. We also got a promotion for this unit that's going to help us later on in the game. And at this point, I think we need to focus on this Renault F-17. Uh, let's grab that Panzer III. And I'm hoping by getting up here on this hill, we can spot that thing. We're already getting shot at, but I want to get the high ground. I don't like our positioning right now, so I'm going to turn and open fire. Okay, two misses. Not bad for the enemy. They're off to a semi-decent start, I guess. Uh, we probably could have gotten a shot at them, but I don't think it would have been very effective anyway. So we'll keep on mo moving forward with the rest of our men. I don't want to get in a position with the SDKFCs where they can target us, so we're just going to move forward like this. Uh, the infantry is obviously going to probably get shot at. Every use, obviously, and probably in the same sentence. <laughs> That's something to consider. Uh, and there we go. So we're not going to be hitting them... And they're deflecting the shots. They've got pretty strong armor. Like I said, it's mostly only the Panzer III uh, that's able to do any damage to this unit. So we've got to keep that in mind. And I'm actually going to send... Ooh, there's another enemy lorry here. Zero percent chance of hitting. But we're going to take this truck, and I'm going to see if I can drop my boys off inside this building. Get a nice little view of the area. And actually, we can already see some French infantry. So this is going to give us an opportunity to uh, get off to a good start. Start firing at the enemy infantry right away. Fire! Oh, they're doing pretty well. I'm surprised. Okay, well, it is what it is. Fire at the lorry at least. I don't care if we can't get a hit. We can at least try to scare the hell out of the enemy. But I think that's going to be it for us this turn at least. Let's end the turn and turn it over to the French. Turn it over. Pun, pun, pun. There we go. So that's what they get for firing at us. They immediately got hit themselves, but we've still got a lot of movement to do here. Um, groups of Fallschirmjäger have landed on our eastern flank. These elite paratroopers should be capable of securing the village. That's what I want to hear, guys. So we've got some Fallschirmjäger troops. Um, unfortunately, we've also got some French Lorraine uh, anti-personnel carrier tanks. So I'm going to move in, and I'm hoping that we get in without getting attacked. Let's see if we can kill this thing. Beautiful start by the full Shimiega, and they also took the location. Well, I should say they're about to take the location, um, but they took the building, which is great. Now, oh, enemy machine gun. That is a nasty little machine gun. Effectiveness of four, and oh my goodness, I missed that AT gun. It's right next to us. Effectiveness of 16. I'm going to throw some grenades in there. Let's see if we can't destroy the enemy machine gun. Another issue with the French defense during World War II, the initial French, French defense, was there were a lot of... Um, replacements that were being used on the French side. So these guys had little to no experience with combat, you could say. Ooh, we got ambushed badly there, but I'm going to keep up the fight. 
We can actually go for that next point, so we want to be careful how we deal with this. Let's move in by hunting. And we can fire it down from the building. Come on. They've got a fortify bonus because of the sandbag position. But we got one of them, the loader, right through the chest. He's not going to recover from that one anytime soon. At the same time, though, that tank is still going to be a pain in our ass. Got another tank over here. Another vehicle, at least. Uh, I'm not sure we can get a hit. I think I'd rather go for the storefront and take it. And, of course, enemy ambush from here will open fire. We actually don't know where they are, but there we go. We finally spot them. It's an enemy AT gun. Now, I didn't want to have to use my Stuka yet, but I think this is going to be a complicated situation. And the Stuka does recharge, so we're going to go ahead and call dive bombers on that enemy location. It's just frustrating, to put it mildly. And make sure there's no enemies. Oh, oh, enemy tank. And I'm betting that there's enemies over here. No, we're going to stop. I'm going to go ahead and fire in this location. And then I'm going to try to move up our Panzer 3s. Let's see how this works. It's quite difficult to move. It's actually going to take a while. Nothing there is so far. That doesn't mean we're home free. All right, boys. Deploy. Got a nice German engineer unit now in town, who's also kind of giving us some uh, some insights into what we can expect to see here. Now, we could use this time to turn and eventually clear this wreck out of the middle of the road. It's absolutely going to affect our movement, among other things. Uh, but let's see what else we can do here. So, let's get behind the French infantry. Suppress fire! And I'm going to even bring over the 8-rod. not even sure if that's the right way to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it is. 8-rod. Effectiveness is only 5. So it's going to be tough to get a kill on these guys, but they're retreating into the woods. That's definitely the next best thing. Uh, and I think we'll keep on moving forward with these infantry units. If we have any enemies ambushing us, we'll be able to spot them pretty soon. So either way, I think that's a plus. forward to the rest of KFC over here. Actually, not the greatest idea. So the enemy AT gun and the enemy tank. Two enemy AT guns! So I'm going to be very happy if we can take one of those out. Very, very happy. In the meantime, I'm going to send a German engineer unit over there to hopefully hit the AT gun and do some damage. Chance to kill is nil, but nonetheless, we're still going to fire. Deflected, and here we go, ending the turn. Let's see how this Stuka deals with this uh, situation. But first, let's see if the enemy manages to score any kills on our initial force. Deflected. Deflected. We got pretty lucky so far. And we actually managed to kill one of the enemy. Sort of a reactionary shot there. And here comes the Stuka dive bomber. Oh, I don't think it did a damn thing. That bunker absolutely protected this guy. Wow, um, that is definitely a lesson for the future, um, and a cause for concern, to say the least. And now we've got this wreck in the way. Just try and get as close as possible. I'm not sure if this is going to make a difference, but I think it will. It's going to increase our chance to penetrate the vehicle. And it bounced off, he deflected the shot, but it definitely looks like we're getting closer to being able to do damage to this thing, and we may have figured out the secret to killing these guys, which is to get really, really close. Nice shot, but I think I can match it with a better one. Come on, boy. Alright, two, two, two French tanks doing just fine still. Oh boy, enemy infantry. That could have been disastrous. I'm hoping we can still get a kill here. It's suppressed. It's a start. We're still getting ambushed by the enemy infantry, and believe me, they could kill us. Deflect it again, you bastard. At least we're getting into town, guys. We're getting closer and closer to the ultimate goal of total victory. Look at that. We spotted a British unit here. We can probably actually get some shots on this guy. Let's see if it's effective at all. British infantry. Or French infantry, excuse me. Shame on me. Okay, we already got some good hits. Fuck. Machine gun's gonna tear them up, but not without this AT gun firing right at its backside. 
He's gonna retreat, but not before the French AT gun destroys the SDKFC. I have to give it to them. That was a really nice uh, job. Really nice. Uh, put this guy into this building. We still can't fire at the enemy, but we can get a bit closer to where we can. And we can also fire from up here with our German engineer. And actually with the ambush, we managed to get them to, to retreat. I'm going to keep on firing. We know exactly what building they went into. And this fight is not over. There we go. Okay, I think we're pretty much done. We got this unit here. You could probably do some damage to the enemy as well, but I don't want to risk it. Let's see what happens when we move right up next to the enemy. Oh, another tank. Alright, let's just go behind the enemy line. Because at this point, we've already been pretty crazy. And of course, we got our target destroyed. We've got to be much more careful with our targets here in the future. Uh, but we're still doing fine. And not to mention, we're still getting more Falschemiger reinforcements to take the town. So we got to keep that in mind, guys. Those, that's all good news. Over here, an assault for 100% chance of a win. Our unit got a promotion, which is perfect. And we're going to try to move into the flag. The enemy's going to ambush us, of course. But hopefully we can assault this position. 90% chance of a win, and we have taken one of the villages with our Falschemiegers. Unfortunately, one of our brave Falschemiegers did fall in battle, but it's absolutely a start. And now these guys can start making their way towards the main town. Although we do have to be careful of this tank. That being said, if we can get close up to it, we can absolutely destroy it with uh, probably even a Stalingrad. Remember, these are World War One era tanks in this particular scenario, so we don't have much to worry about. Now, this R-35 is a good example of one of the decent French tanks, uh, and these were really just as good as the tanks we have on the field right now. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that um, first part of the battle. If you want to see more, make sure to let me know in the comments down below, and let me know, know if you ended up going to see Dunkirk. Please, no spoilers, but uh, I'd love to hear your opinion on the film itself. So right now, I'm just going to destroy the trucks purely for the purpose of increasing my promotion or increasing my rank through promotion. Um, and of course, I'll move this vehicle closer to the town because I think our other vehicle can pretty much deal with it. I'm certain there's going to be enemies there, but there's not much we can do about them right this second. Okay, guys, I hope to see you again in the next part of the fight. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, comment, and take a look at our Battle Academy playlist. There's a lot of fun stuff there that you might enjoy looking at. Um, you might also like Battle Academy 2, which is focuses on the Eastern Front. But I thank you for stopping by. I hope to see you again, and take care, guys.